Take Rabbit here. So now we're going to have a look at um, a breadboard. Let's see what that is. Okay, here's a um, virtual representation of a breadboard. What a breadboard is the most common platform for prototyping electronics on, uh, used by pretty much everybody. And I mean, the idea with the breadboard is that it's um, it's a, a block that has lots of holes in it, and at the bottom of the hole there's a conductor, and then the conductors are connected together in a certain way. So the side ones are connected horizontally together. So all these holes are connected together. And here you say, see the same, all these holes are connected together. And basically it's like the plus voltage and minus voltage. And you have the same, it's repeated on this other side here. So that's usually where you bring in the um, power for the board. And um, what you can also do is, uh, or, or, or also they have these holes are connected together, but they're in a vertical orientation. And the same here. And then what you can do is um, tested this. Hmm, interesting. Oh well, that's fritzing for you. Um, um, so anyway, so uh, that's the um, the board layout and that you can then put the components on it and um, no, I thought we could actually see what it looks like in, in real life. Let's try and put the parts on it again, because that was something I hadn't seen before. So let's take the resistor and we'll put it into place. And we'll take the lead and we'll put it into place. So okay, now we don't get the alignment problem. Well, that's of course when one tries to make a video and one finds bugs in software. Yep, but anyway, let's um, have a look at what it looks like in real life instead. Okay, here's the um, breadboard in reality, and let's see if it'll crash also in reality. <laughs> anyway, the breadboard looks like this, usually, and um, it's actually important to notice that these come in parts, usually, so you can take these off, side ones off. And it also usually comes pre-applied with a back that has actually sticky tape, so you can actually glue it to things. And then you can also take um, more of these, and you can actually expand expand the, um, the setup. Oh, so you can actually join these together and then make them as large as you like. And as I said, you can take you could actually take those two strips away and then join these two parts and then have the um, voltage rails still on, on the same place. And then um, you can put components on it, those ones that conform with um, the layout form, or legs can be bended. And then you can connect and insert components. Like that. Oops. I'm not making a real circuit here, I just wanted to show. So of course, um, you know, you can't put things like this on it. I mean, it won't, won't fit. Or for example, you hard to use surface mount um, components. They're too, very too small. So just actually, maybe some of them will nearly disappear into the holes. 
so those can't be used without some kind of a supporting platform for them. Of course you can use service mount components if you put it on something else and then apply that thing. And then usually when you want to do internal connections on the on the board then you use these connection wires and they usually come in sets like this so you can buy them like that in different configurations with male and female connectors on either side or both sides. And then you can actually tear off these wires so that you just pull it off to, to separate them or you can keep them as ribbons depending on what your needs are. And then you just um, plug it in and then connect it to either a power rail or to another location on the board. So that's that's the very shortest presentation of a breadboard one can uh, one can get. So bonus hint. So if you um, don't want to use these wires, then you can actually switch to using this type of wire. And they usually come in packages where you actually get the wire and the insulation's already been removed and you get different lengths and different colors so then you can actually do the same connections with these wires and um, in some cases it's good, some cases it's bad. I, I prefer these because they're easier to to manipulate and slot in but these can be a bit cheap So, anyway, that was the breadboard. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, consider this fun, um, consider subscribing. Uh, hit the bell icon to be notified for more. Continue with more of these and um, tell other people if they're interested and want to know what a breadboard is. You can just um, point them to this video and um, I'll see you in the next one.